After the interstellar object 3I Atlas entered our solar system, scientists have been racing to collect every bit of data about it. So far, they've discovered that this mysterious visitor is moving at an incredible speed of 61 kilometers per second relative to the sun, making it the fastest natural object ever observed in our solar system. It is broadly believed that this object is a comet that has come to us from outside the solar system and has recently begun to change shape. Its tail has grown longer and its coma, a large atmosphere of gas and dust that surrounds its nucleus, has become more pronounced. Well, these are expected characteristics from a comet ripping by the sun at ludicrous speeds, but scientists have recently discovered something worrying that has shocked everyone. In the latest twist this week, comet hunter Michael Yeager and his colleagues took advantage of the total lunar eclipse to take a deep image of comet 3I Atlas under the dark skies of Namibia. Their observations showed that the object's coma has now transitioned from giving off red light to green. When 3I Atlas was first discovered, it had a reddish glow, which seemed to come directly from its surface rather than from a surrounding dust cloud. But in recent observations, the glow has shifted. It now appears more greenish than red. This sudden color change has left scientists puzzled, since it doesn't match the behavior of other interstellar visitors we've studied before. Some scientists suggest that this may be due to the evaporation of chemicals on the surface. On August 25th, 2025, the Very Large Telescope reported a sharp increase in the production of cyanide around the object, which may explain the color shift from red to green-blue. However, what makes things stranger is that scientists also found nickel without iron, a combination not normally seen in natural comets. On Earth, nickel without iron is typically produced in industrial processes, raising questions about whether 3I Atlas is entirely natural or could possibly be artificially designed. Adding to the mystery, a new image taken on September 7, 2025, revealed an unusual feature, an anti-tail. Normally, a comet's tail points away from the sun, but in this case, the glow extended toward the sun. This is not an optical illusion. Such an anti-tail has never been reported for comets in our solar system. Understandably, this discovery has shocked scientists and sparked fresh debates. Some experts suggest the anti-tail may be caused by tiny ice fragments breaking off from the surface of this interstellar object. As the object gets closer to the sun, the sun-facing side heats up much faster than the rest. This creates an uneven process. The front side of the object starts shedding larger ice fragments, not just gas and dust. These bigger pieces of ice are heavier, so they are not easily blown away by the solar wind. Instead, they move more slowly and can even spread out in the direction toward the sun. When sunlight hits these ice fragments, they scatter light and produce a strange-looking glow that seems to form a tail pointing inward. That's why scientists call it an anti-tail, because it behaves opposite to what we normally expect from comets. In simple words, the anti-tail might just be the result of how different sizes of ice particles survive and move around as 3I Atlas gets hotter near the sun. But there's another factor that makes 3I Atlas even more mysterious, its size. Surprisingly, scientists still don't know exactly how big this object really is. Early observations suggested that its diameter might be somewhere between 3 to 10 kilometers, which is already comparable to some of the largest known comets. However, a more recent calculation shocked researchers by estimating that its nucleus could be as large as 46 kilometers across. The inferred size of the object was huge. It was between 20 and 46 kilometers um, this is an object if that is the size of it that is a million times bi uh, more massive than the previous interstellar objects we've seen and that's quite unlikely there is not enough material in interstellar space so to bring size, such a huge the fact object. that it's an unusually large is what's making you doubt that it may that or at least be open to the possibility that it's not just a comet that's one aspect the timing of its journey makes it even more interesting 
On October 3, 2025, it will pass close to Mars, giving astronomers a rare chance to study it at close range. Already, scientists are reporting that the object is showing unusual behavior as it approaches the Sun. Its brightness, chemistry, and even its shape appear unpredictable, leading some to wonder if it might behave in unexpected or even unnatural ways when it interacts with the gravity of nearby planets. You're talking about, and how would this even be possible? Well, there are two possibilities. If it's a technological object, then it might maneuver uh, itself. Uh, we haven't seen such a maneuver so far. But the other possibility is that it may release some other objects that reach uh, the planets and it will continue along its course to the next star. Surprisingly, scientists discovered that this new interstellar object came from the Sagittarius constellation, the very same patch of sky where mysterious radio signals have been detected before. One of the most famous of these is the WOW signal, a strong and unexplained radio burst first picked up in 1977. The interesting fact is that three eye atlases arriving from that same direction has caught everyone's attention. What adds another layer of mystery is its trajectory. Unlike most interstellar visitors, which usually pass through the solar system on a steep angle, three eye atlas is moving on a path that is closely aligned with the ecliptic plane. In fact, its orbit is tilted by less than 5 degrees from this plane. Statistically, the chance of this happening by random coincidence is about 1 in 500, which is extremely rare. This path conveniently brings three I atlas close to several of our neighboring planets, including Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, almost as if it was carefully planned. To put it into perspective, this is very similar to the way engineers on Earth carefully designed the Voyager spacecraft's trajectory so that it could perform flybys of multiple planets in a single journey. But perhaps the most surprising part of this trajectory is what happens when 3I Atlas reaches its closest point to the Sun. At that exact time, Earth will be positioned on the opposite side of the Sun, as far away from the object as possible. For some scientists, this is too much of a coincidence. They are asking, why would this object come so close to other planets, but at the same time stay perfectly aligned to avoid Earth? This has sparked bold speculations. Could this object be more than just a natural interstellar rock? Could it possibly be an artificially designed spacecraft following a deliberate path through our solar system? Scientists caution that we don't have enough evidence yet, but many agree we must watch closely. As 3I Atlas approaches the Sun, it may either continue on its expected path or do something completely unexpected, like altering its course while hidden behind the Sun. If that happens, it could change everything we think we know about this mysterious visitor. Right now, it looks like a comet but with some very unusual behavior. It's not only larger than most comets we know, but also believed to be extremely old, possibly even older than our solar system itself. That means this object may have been wandering through the galaxy for billions of years before our sun and planets even formed. During this incredibly long journey, it may have passed through supernova remnants, interstellar clouds in different regions of the galaxy, gradually collecting or being coated with a wide variety of materials. This could explain why its chemistry looks so strange compared to normal comets in our solar system. Scientists are planning to observe this new interstellar visitor when it will pass very close to Mars on October 3, 2025. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which carries the powerful HiRISE camera, is expected to try capturing images of the object. The camera could show details as small as about 30 kilometers per pixel, which though not sharp enough to see small features, will still provide valuable information. This can make it clear whether the object produces its own light or not. Scientists are excited because this might be the first time an interstellar object is imaged from another planet. Other spacecraft, such as NASA's Psyche mission and ESA's JUICE probe, might also get close enough in late 2025 to observe it.
That's the end of this video. If you found it interesting and informative, let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you'd like to support our work, you can do so by purchasing our t-shirts or donating via Super Thanks. Your support helps us create more amazing content. Thank you for watching.